Okay, let me show y'all how this looking. We got a lot of good, good organization, a lot of stuff separated and up in here and we have more room for stuff than we had before. So, yay! <laughs> Wednesday. How come I feel I keep thinking today is Thursday? I've been one day ahead all this week. So yesterday I thought it was uh yesterday I thought it was Wednesday and today I thought it was Thursday. So I'm one day ahead. So y'all, I didn't take my vitamins. I keep telling myself every day, I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'm gonna take my vitamins today. And then I get started doing what I'm doing and I end up not taking my vitamins. So my eye has been killing me because when I don't take my iodine, uh, my eye gets bigger and my eye getting bigger makes my eye hurt so i have to stay on top of my eye dying. and i haven't been doing that and i'm pulled over now getting ready to do some work on the van sorting the back organizing but as usual i get started with all of that and I forget about doing the other stuff that I'm supposed to do. So I said, let me go in this van right now and take these vitamins. I just ate two pieces of leftover chicken that I had from KFC last night. I got three of those specials, but I only ate two. I was hungry in the middle of the night and I remembered about the chicken, but I never got up to eat any. I'm trying to find those dishes. I think they are in the container out there. So I could take my vitamins. I'm just gonna drink out of this. I can't get up and find a cup. So let me see. Y'all, these are the last two fish oil. Is it another one up there? It's all gone. Last two. A key to making big peels go down, them horse peels, because them are uh, fish oil peels and some horse peels. A lot of liquid. You can't have a little bit of liquid. You need a lot. A lot of liquid to make that peel go down, baby. That's not really a horse peel, but it's kind of big. And when you take your peels all at once, like you put them all together and you take them all at once, that is a lot to swallow all at once. If you swallow them one at a time, if you swallow them one at a time, it's better.
inside something but I ain't got no cup right now so I'm gonna take half of this out of here put the other half in my mouth <laughs> Ew, that was nasty Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was nasty. Now I got my iron, but hopefully my eye stop hurting. I need a spoon. I want to eat some cereal. But I need a spoon. I don't have no spoon. I bought a bowl last night. So, y'all, let's go work on the back of this van. Maybe I could go home in a little bit. Oh, Jesus, I'm tired of clutter. Okay. Because I got a lot of stuff just thrown back up here in this cubby hole. Pull this stuff out and see if I can make a little sense of this stuff. I have bought this paint down from Home De Depot. I never did use it. Do I even know? back there. So, I never did fix my window. So, I think I got some stuff that I could throw away back here. So, let me get this stuff out of here. Okay, last night I was cleaning up in the van and I made room to put this stuff right here, over here in the front. So I'm gonna transfer this stuff over and bring it and put it in my little cabinet right there. But I got to get this stuff out of here first. Y'all, I waste some water up in here the other day. So my thing is stained. I don't even use that blanket unless it's cold, but it's staying. Okay, last night when I was sorting through everything, I made room down here for some stuff. So I'm going to bring some containers and put them in here and I'm going to sweep that out first. already made up. I don't know if it's going to be best to put them like that or like this. I think like this I can fit two rows. So I have some more 
more. So let me go get them. All of this stuff that is my makeup and stuff is going to fit in here. So I'm super happy about that. Let me see. Will I be able to fit one more on top? Yep, we can fit four on top of each other. Yes! Yes! I'm going to put a round of applause right there, y'all. These little bins from the Dollar Tree are excellent to for van life to separate your stuff. I don't know if that's going to be in the way of my door. Let's see, can I go back a little farther? Uh, to separate your stuff, I think that's going to affect my door sliding. Let me see if that one right there. I think it's going to affect the door sliding. So I'm going to have to turn it that way, but I wish I could have turned it where it could have fit two more rows. It needed to be just a little bit wider. Come out a little more. But I could still fit another one on top of here. So we still have room for more. So I can sort some smaller stuff in the house. I have some more of these containers at home. So I could put some more smaller stuff inside of these. Uh, two more. I don't know what I'm gonna put right here since. I can't turn it this way. Cause it's gonna fit the sliding door. So we gonna have to turn it this way. And just do what we could do. So I moved the other crates from the side. I think I'm going to put these back here and then I could put four, two more on top and then I could have these in the front like that. Or I can just put all of those uh small crates right here so let me see i got some more crates up at the top let me concentrate on filling this area up with all of these crates and let's see how that works I wish I could have fit three more like this. I wish that would have worked. That means that would be 12 more I could fit in here. But this way, let's see how many we're gonna fit in here. I'm moving the ones from the top shelf down here. These are my pads. Only thing about these uh, dollar store things, the little handle come down every now and then, but it's no big deal. These are nice. I wish I could find somebody that makes these so this way, somebody that makes this brand, I mean this style, you know, nicer brand. Instead of fitting 12 more in here, 
we're gonna fit eight, which is still good, but I would have liked to have fit 12. See them handles going be in the way of me moving that door back and forth. But I got room for more at the top now. I just want to see what I could fit up in here. So now we got that full. I could probably fit some on the side if I turn them on the side. And now the top is empty, but I could put some more up there. I just want to fill up the bottom part. It'll be easier for me to get to this down here so yeah one sideways those are my wet wipes for my glasses I turn one sideways I got a little room in the back that I could roll something up or stuff something back there uh, I think I'm gonna put some of my wet wipes back there I got some little extra room back there in the cubby hole I think I'm gonna Put some wipes, cause wipes I need to get to. And I got some more room, some more wipes. I think I'm gonna stuff my wipes back there so that I can always have them handy from in the inside of the van. I think I could fit one or two more packs back there. on this and all this stuff on the ground and this right here we got room to put stuff let's just see how much stuff so I'm gonna take this container and I'm gonna fold up my backdrops
you look and make that a little smaller. y'all I'm gonna take an extra container and I'm gonna put my extension cords in it so we can get that other stuff from thrown on the side over there we could possibly use that space or something else. So I'm just gonna put this stuff up in here. So if you are in van life or you're in home life and you want to take your water out of one of those con those packages and just store it in your pantry, all cutie patootie, you can get you about three or four of these things and put your water in them and store your water away in them. that in there for now I'll probably eventually move that that's where there's going for now and I could use a water I'll take this dishwashing liquid hopefully all of it will fit in this bottle I think blue and yellow makes green maybe when I pour it in here it'll look green from the outside Just give it a decorative element. I got this yellow thing from Walmart for a dollar. And we got two of them. So it still look yellow from the outside. They had these in all colors, y'all. Some pretty pastel colors. So I'm going to put the rest in here. I'll keep one in the back and one in the front. Keeps 
Okay, and I got some like my pillow shams. Uh, I'm gonna start one of these for my pillow shams. I think I need to go buy another set of these things, but they didn't have no more at that other place unless they stopped them last night which I'm close by there right now so it'll be easy just to go check but I think I'm going to put my pillow shams right in here because some things I'm going to keep in a crate by this front door so I can look in and out because uh, some things, y'all, I'm just not going to go by the front door at night. They could be right here. They won't be in my way. Uh, I could just sit on my side. So, I think I'm going to put the water in that crate for now. Oh, y'all, it's been a lot of work. I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything, but I know that I am doing something. It just don't feel like what I'm doing is amounting to anything. But in the grand scheme of things, it is amounting to something because you're in goal is it hand and your end goal is within reach the end goal is within reach will I accomplish the end goal by the time I need to accomplish it though that is the question and the answer to that question is yes baby because whatever I got to do to get done what I need to get done, baby. That's what we're gonna be doing. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We done pussy footed around. <laughs> we done pussy footed around long enough, y'all. I got these little cups from Ooh. one of them already broke. I got this from the flea market. I ain't even used it yet and it broke. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Water in there, okay, my orange juice, it. and a box of cereal in there. And I'm gonna leave that just like that for now. Uh, I'm trying to see, I wanted to get to that, uh, in that closet right there. But I'm gonna pull my little curtains out of there. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, y'all, I got some more of these out of the car, out of the closet, out of the storage. So I'm going to put these in here. Hopefully, they all fit in here. So when I need to change out my pillow shams, all of my pillow shams are in one place.
y'all how this looking. We got a lot of good, good organization, a lot of stuff separated and up in here and we have more room for stuff than we had before. So, yay! My moisture eliminated and clean them things so I could catch some extra moisture if I need to. Okay, y'all, I took this thing apart several times my little bed thing i took that apart several times last night and i need to take it apart now because i need to get into I got to fix this thing one day where these things don't come back down. Is it going through? It's not even going through. I'm gonna have to fix this thing. Take it down and fix it to where these uh, strings don't come out. <sighs> no more. Because the strings be coming out, flying out when the wind. So I'm gonna take this thing down. Cause I got to get up in here and y'all we got some air flowing through here and that's what we need you need to open up your van every day if you can and let some air through here so it won't be musty and funky and all of that stuff. So I took this apart last night, but I'm about to take it apart again because there's some more stuff I found I could put up in there. And I got an extra an extra one of these containers. up in here though we're gonna see we gonna see what we can see another one will fit I gotta leave emergency gas tank up in here gas can let me see if I can get this gas can to fit in the back Okay, y'all, I just took my mattress out of this thing that I had it in, and I'm cutting it because it's, a, it's still a little too big, too long, and it moves forward and be sliding off of this thing. So I trimmed it around here. I trimmed it on the end because it was still a little too long on this end, and now I'm about to trim it right here, and I don't think I'm going to put that brown thing back on here uh i might just wrap it in a sheet and then 
wrap it in my little bl uh, yellow blanket thing. I'm not sure, but I don't think I'm gonna put that brown thing back on here, but I'm about to trim this. I actually didn't have to trim it. I just pushed it under there. Now that it doesn't have that uh, brown stuff on there, I just pushed it under there. Mm -hmm.